Hello everyone. I uh, put out a video a while back about the hired hand shortcut, and there's been a new strategy discovered. Uh, well, not really new. It's just that I didn't know that you could kill the <laughs> the fish and get a free HH. But the way to do it is you run two four two, and then I tend to find that the right side is the safest. You're going to want to take care of these fish. Make sure that they'll be sleeping with the fishes. Uh, try not to just jump into them like I do. As you can see here, I got lucky and I found a random HH in the uh, first level. But as you can see, he's being annoying. So when you deal with the big fish, you're just going to want to lure him, which is super safe. <laughs> and then uh, once you get him to this point, he's pretty free to kill. You just want to whip as fast as you can, and he'll be guaranteed to swim uh, back there. You can see I'm in a really nice enclosed space. That makes this fight a lot quicker. You want to kind of hightail it down here because... He is really slow to die, like aggressively so. If you find a uh, shop that you can rob, and grab a shotgun or something, that would definitely be the safest way to deal with him. But as you can see with a setup like this, it's pretty good. If there's no good setup on the right side, uh, there should be one on the left. I tend to find... Nice. And then, as you can see, you get a hired hand out of the fish. And then you just swim up to safety. And you try not to die to the enemies. And now I'm going to show you the run where I actually managed to uh, get a random coffin and then commentate that and kind of explain more about this level I'm in. So I'll see you in a moment. So welcome back. Uh, so I already showed you the first strategy, which is killing the giant fish. This is the second strategy, and I think it's much easier. Uh, basically what you do here is you just hope that there's a coffin on 4-1. And I found in testing that it's actually extremely common. Uh, so you can see just off to the edge there. Most of the time it's on the bottom layer, sometimes it isn't. You're going to want to, you see how I was kind of careful there, jumping over the leaves? They can hide bear traps, which is annoying. And then, uh, not sure if I said that in my original video, but it has been discovered that picking up a hired hand and then dropping him will cause him to run back and forth and eventually fall asleep. Just like that. So you just want to supervise him, make sure he's having a good nap time, and then run on through the level. And you should be good to go there. I still try to be fairly quick because he can uh, wake up occasionally. You'll notice if you take a really long time on the level, he'll start to join you. It's kind of annoying, but if you go fast enough, it should not be a problem. Uh, when dealing with certain enemies, like uh, the lobster on the left there, you can see. I typically just try to avoid him. Not really worth fighting. That time the hired hand fell asleep immediately. This isn't super common, but it can happen. So you see me there being kind of safe, luring that trap out. So with the lobster here, this is actually really good that I can explain to you how it works. The door opening is like, you can do that from really far. But yeah, I completed it, so I think I'm just going to go through one more run and uh, sort of commentate over it. So I'll see you then. I'm back, so for this final part, I figured I'd just show you a run in real time and explain my thought process with every move I do. So you can see me whipping there, that'll set off a snap trap if there's one there. 
So you can put him down and leave, I think, and he should, yeah, still fall asleep. So these crabs, if you stay just out of your range, they can't get you. Always want to be on the lookout for snap traps. They're kind of rare, which is what makes them a bit harder to see occasionally. I would save that damsel if it wasn't for that crab. Oh no. If there's a spider in the way, he'll just jump into it. He's not that smart. So you can see the exit here. So you can just toss a bomb. Ugh, my game's not doing too hot. That's the problem with having an old computer. So here you can also see a shortcut. If you're doing this run from a shortcut, definitely do not worry about using bombs uh, to make things faster or easier. It doesn't matter how many bombs you use, as long as you get through 4-4 with the right hand alive. Also gonna bomb here. Yeah, you know, really just go crazy with it. You don't even really need health. So you can see bombs there were really good. I think I'm going to go through just one more time to try to explain to you. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. It's been acting really weird lately. I might need to get a new graphics card or something. But yep, just on cue there's another coffin. So you saw I kind of waited for the crab to get in a good position. You can kind of tell when he's gonna do that. And there he goes. Huh. I could have saved that dog, but as you saw there was a Zhang Shi. Not really worth risking anything. Like I said before, there could be snap traps, so I'm just gonna jump over everything. With that guy. With the new Tiki Traps. Uh, really, they're not as scary as the old ones. And as for the Zhang Shi, they turn, and when they turn, you can sort of tell that they're gonna turn. Uh, turn in terms of gravity. I think I'll do one more run after this, and should give you a pretty good idea. Um, so you see me running over him? That looks super dangerous, but it's not really. Not as dangerous as it looks. As you can see, he's still alive. So, you know, stop doing that. That's good. <laughs> I can't even whip him down anymore. Alright, there you go. Okay, now he's asleep. <laughs> Iron hands, they're still annoying. I guess nothing ever really changes. There's Tana Lady, she wants something else. I'm too lazy to get it to her though. <laughs> Alright, one more run. That's the Spelunker's Creed. This run, I think I'm gonna try to take it slow, show like... Can I even play this game as a casual? I feel like the second I got it, my Spelunky one knowledge made me a speedrunner. Just kind of a weird feeling. Could definitely bomb through there, that would work. Snap trap there, always look out for it. Semi-free damsel, but not one I really feel like saving. Oh no, is he live up there? I see him moving around. Oh no, that's a cat. Hermit crabs are annoying. You sort of have to wait for them. Yeah, he died. So if that happens to you, just reset. It's not that big of a deal. But uh, I'll go through this one more time. Just show everything off. I think you could lure them into a snap trap, but I haven't done it yet. Oh, this is good. If that happens, just keep whipping. Eventually they will die. Uh, if you're really in a hurry, 
uh, if you're really scared of HH's waking up. Yeah, there is some hidden gold there. Just pretend I put down an HH there. <laughs> um, you can actually jump over the gold traps. Oops, I died. But like I was saying, you can jump over the gold... Are you serious? Alright, I guess those skeletons can be alive. That's fine. <laughs> Anyways, if you see a golden tiki trap... I'm gonna keep doing old strats. There could have been a bear trap in there. I don't super care. I have to bomb through this. But yeah, you can just put him down and pick him up. I think this time I'm not going to do that because there's spikes plus a Octorok. Oh man, jumped under my feet. What a sneaky guy. Yeah, if you take a damage, it's not really the end of the world. You can even get poisoned. Poison is not as bad as it feels like it is. Oh, the thing I was saying, you can do that if you want to be fast. There was a snap trap there. This game has good hitboxes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's why you don't go for that, because you can screw it up pretty easily. All right, one more full complete. I've died a bunch of times, but that's all right. You can die as many times as you want in this game. There's no game overs. Oh, he's following me. I think he wanted to kill her. But there he should be pretty stuck. Oh, there's a junk she. That's nice. Okay, this is a good example of what you can do. I damage boosted there. So I got hit by the zhong shi and I knew that I had enough time to go for that. I have to kill this. Damn it. I wanted to kill that one before the HH got to it, but he did manage to fall asleep. Alright, this snail slowed me down. It might be too slow for the... Hopefully he doesn't wake up. We'll see. Oh, I want a bomb in there. They changed the snake pod physics? Okay. It, HHs are super fun. Don't! Okay, he didn't fall. Thank you. Oh my gosh, dude. Just chill. These guys raise my blood pressure. And that little jump, you can actually jump over them. Most people don't know that. Oh my gosh, that hit me! Alright, that's a very spelunky way to die. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, yeah. Making it through this isn't the craziest thing to do. <laughs> but uh, it's doable as you saw from my first few attempts. I'll see you on the next guide.